you know, one of the things that people ask me and they don't really want to ask about this because it is kind of sensitive topic. How much can you really earn as a virtual expert? Well, I will share that with you. I will share specifics with you because that's what I like to do. I like to tell the truth and the details of the reality of working as a virtual expert. I'm Kathy Guggenauer, and I started as a virtual assistant back in 2001. And I made a huge mistake back then of starting way too low. I started at $15 an hour. When you start that low, what happens is people do not believe that you know what you're doing. They don't value your services as much. And you get clients who are gonna nickel and dime you. So luckily, I found a really great coach, a business coach, and she had me immediately raise my prices to $75 an hour. Now, you might think, 15 to 75? Well, I did say, hey, that's too fast. So she said, all right, you're gonna go to 35, then to 55, then to 75. And guess what? That's exactly what I did. And each step of the way, I got higher and higher quality clients. And by the time I went to $75 an hour, I was a real estate virtual assistant the entire time. I would ask people who hired me, I would say, what made you decide to hire me as your virtual assistant? And they would say, you charge the most, so I'm assuming you're the best. And that is really the perception that people have. So what the moral of that story is, is don't price yourself low, thinking that you're gonna give a bargain to people, because those people who want bargains are not people that you want to work with. You want to work with clients who value you. So let's talk a little bit more about pricing. As a general admin virtual assistant, there is a cap on what you can charge because of that perceived value that's out there in the industry. The perceived value of a virtual assistant is that they're an admin and an admin value is $25 an hour capped pretty much at that. It's very difficult to get somebody to pay you more than that as a general admin. So in order to earn more, you want to specialize. When you specialize, you go deeper into a topic. You become more experienced on that topic. You become more of an expert on a topic that is a more difficult topic than just general admin work. So what kind of things am I talking about? Well, you could do copywriting, you could do technical services for higher, more difficult to use services. For example, Infusionsoft is one of the most difficult to use services there is out there. And it's one of the highest paid because of it. Copywriting is also very highly valued, very difficult to do extremely well, thus very well paid. And there are many others, but those are just two examples for you. So specialize. When you specialize and you become a virtual expert, which is a trademarked phrase that I have, then you can earn $45 an hour and up. Literally, it starts at $45 an hour. So um, think about specializing so that you can immediately get yourself a raise from 25 to 45. So let's talk a little bit more about how much you can earn. When I was working as a real estate virtual assistant, I had 70 clients. I built a team of five VAs to work with me, and I had a waiting list of 15 people pretty much all the time. So as you can imagine, I was able to earn quite a bit. And that's when I built, that's when I had my six figure virtual expert business. Maybe you want to work full time, but you don't want to build a team like I did. Well, there's only a certain number of hours that you can work yourself personally, right? So if you worked 40 hours a week, for example, you charged $45 an hour, you would earn about $5,700 a month. How would that change your life? Would $5,700 extra change your life? You could add that on to the J-O-B you already have, or maybe that's enough to quit your job. How much is that annually? So I did the math. I have, I have to use a calculator. I can't do it in my head, so I wrote it all down beforehand. $70,000 a year on the average. Now, again, that is at $45 an hour. So if you are already wanting to earn 
a hundred thousand or 150,000. If you know that's where you won't really want to get to start out at $45 an hour as a brand new virtual expert, get your experience, get your clients. And then as I did begin to raise your prices as a rule of thumb, how do you know when to raise your prices? Well, this is my rule that I teach in my program. When 50% of people that you talk to about working together hire you, you are at the right price. If 80% or more say yes to working with you at your current rate, you are too low priced. You need to raise your rates five to ten dollars an hour and keep raising them until you are under 80% yeses. Now you might think, oh, I want 100% yeses. Well, that's a mistake I made too when I was a new virtual assistant. You don't want 100% of people saying yes. If you get 100% of people saying yes, you're priced way too low and you're working a lot harder than you need to. So keep raising that price until you get under 80% yeses. Yeah. You want no's. Now, if you're below 50% yeses, if you're getting um, like 20% yeses, then your price is either too high or you're not great at having that conversation about someone hiring you. So first assess that. Try to improve your con consultation conversations to get people to understand how valuable you really are. And I can teach you how to do that. It's really not difficult at all. You just have to know a few little nuances of how to let them see for themselves how valuable you are rather than telling them, hey, I'm really good at what I do. That doesn't work. <laughs> you have to let them experience how good you are. And I can teach you how to do that. In fact, that's a great idea. I'm gonna do that in another video. I'll teach you how to do that. If you are at 20% yeses, improve the way you talk with clients to get them to yes or once you've improved that lower your price until you're at 50 percent yeses so that's the rule of thumb on how you know when to raise your rates now what if you want to work part-time does that mean that you have to earn less per hour absolutely not what matters is your level of expertise your level of experience how good you are at what you do and how valued what you do is not how many hours you work because as a virtual expert you don't work for just one person you always work for more than one person so for example if you want to work about 20 hours a week at 45 dollars an hour you're going to earn about three thousand dollars monthly or about thirty-five thousand annually one of the virtual experts in my program she actually took the very first training program i ever had her name's joyce she has worked part-time for 11 years now as a virtual expert. Yes, I have been training for 11 years how to become a virtual expert. She's always wanted to work part-time. She took early retirement, so she had her retirement income, and she loves to volunteer. She likes to volunteer so much, and she gives so much that we've nicknamed her St. Joyce. And when she first started, she was really concerned that she wouldn't be able to earn 35,000 annually consistently working 20 hours a week. And I told her that she absolutely would be able to. And she has done exactly that for 11 years now. I absolutely love working with Joyce. She's actually one of the coaches in my program. So if you ever decide to join my program, you might want to work with St. Joyce. Two things, and I'll be done with this topic for now. You guys, I could talk forever. Can you tell? What if you're brand new? You've never worked as a virtual assistant before. You don't feel confident in what your skills are yet. And you're nervous about working directly with clients because you don't have the experience. What I recommend for you is working as a virtual assistant subcontractor. What does that mean? That means working for another virtual expert who has a team of virtual assistants that work for her. So for example, I mentioned earlier that I had a team of five virtual assistants who worked for me and I brought in the clients and they did the work and I was able to oversee their work and give them insights into um, how to do it even better. 
So if you're brand new and you need some experience, that is a great way to get it and earn while you learn. So consider becoming a virtual assistant subcontractor. If this sounds of interest to you, whether you want to start out as a virtual assistant subcontractor or jump right in as a full virtual expert, I want you to know that the sky is the limit. There is no limitation on how much you can earn, no limitation on how big you can grow your business. I am a perfect example. When I started my virtual assistant business, I just wanted to make a living. That's all I thought about. I literally used that term. I just want to make a living. And then I learned what was really possible and what I was really capable of. Today, I'm a very powerful, confident businesswoman who is on her way to a million dollar business. I'm super excited to share that with you guys and to help you achieve whatever your goals are. If that sounds of interest to you, whether you want to work part time and earn 3000 a month, or you want to work full time and earn multiple six figures, click the link below, apply for a breakthrough session. If your application is accepted, you'll get a free 30 to 60 minute call with a breakthrough specialist. That specialist is herself a very well paid virtual expert. She's been where you want to go. She can answer any questions you have about what it takes to become a virtual expert, what our training program is all about, and she'll also assess whether or not you're ready to become a virtual expert. I hope you'll take me up on it. Click that link and apply, and I will see you back here for another topic soon. It's Kathy Guggenauer. Bye, everybody.